So, you are chair of your organization's board of directors. How does one chair properly? Like a talented musical conductor, you don't need to be a first-class violinist, but you need to know when to let that violinist solo and how to stop them from breaking their bow on another orchestra member's head. It's all about making sure you and your fellow board members are all focused on moving your nonprofit's mission forward. Remember, as the board chair, you are governing, not managing. Keep your eye on the big picture and let the staff do their jobs. Remind the rest of your board of their governing role. Just as a conductor doesn't need to play the instruments as much as shape and direct the music, a board chair is there to create a space for everyone to feel included and make sure all responsibilities are carried out. To encourage other board members to show up and chip in, get to know them, what's driving their involvement, what skills they bring to the table, and find ways to engage them based on their passion, perspectives, and abilities. Make efforts to be actively involved in each member's development. At meetings, you are a facilitator. That means engaging the other board members and paying attention to group dynamics. Use different facilitation techniques to stimulate creativity, guide conversations to generative thinking, and develop consensus for the board to act. Frame questions around choices, actively encourage daring ideas, and bring deep worries to the surface. In order to lead effective meetings, it's important to partner with the executive director to plan and prepare for meetings. Develop the agendas and plan for the flow of the meeting. Determine the time needed to discuss the topics on the agenda. Set a time limit for discussion of each agenda item. Begin and end the meeting on time and adhere to time limits. Indicate which items require a board vote, which require advice or guidance from the board, and which are presented for information only. And decide what unique roles and duties you'll take on in the meeting and what the executive director will handle. You also want to help board members prepare by seeing that the board packet and any background documents they need to review are sent out prior to the meeting. You and the executive director will be a sounding board for each other. You are also responsible for ensuring the board does the executive director's annual review and they are fairly compensated. But beyond determining if they're doing a good job or not, it's up to you to make sure the executive director is getting the support they need. Pay attention to the size of the job to ensure it's reasonable. As the leader of the board, anticipate challenges and prepare on occasion to deal with conflict, turnover, etc. It's not so much about looking good in your role as board chair. It's about ensuring the success of your peer board members and the success of your organization. Take time to reflect on your approach to leadership and how you can apply it in your role in a way that best serves the organization's mission and the community. A board chair is a diplomat, coach, sounding board, pilot, superhero, a leader, 